a lot of people know you as an actress, especially in the hit uh, sitcom Good Times as the America's favorite sister and daughter, Thelma Evans. What a lot of people don't know is that you're also an accomplished author. We'll come back to the good times, but I want to talk about how did you get started in writing books? You know, along with everything else, um, I was always a writer. I, I used to write letters when I was about seven and eight, nine, ten. I used to write letters to God. So <laughs> uh. I used to write them letters. I used to write them letters. And so, and I thought he heard me. Um, and I always wrote poetry and I always wrote my feelings. So I ended up always writing. I always wanted to write a book, never knew when. Uh, so I wrote many, many uh, uh, poems and, and things like that. In fact, eventually I want to get all those poetry pieces together and, and put a poetry book, a big one out. But later on in, in life, after I had done a lot of plays, I wanted to do a book. And mm -hmm. I had been a counselor and on relationships for quite some time, and I had spoken to many people. Um, and then I realized that across the country, while doing different plays, I met a lot of people. And I realized that a lot of people have the same type of issues in relationships. So I said, well, maybe it's a good time for me to write that book. Mm -hmm. And I wrote one on relationships. That was my first book mm -hmm. called Situations 101, Relationships, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Right. And I wrote 101 different situations in there and my responses. Right. Very good. Many men love this book. When you first look at it, you say, oh, that's a relationship book for women. No. Nope. Men love this book, too. I wrote it very well. I, I thank God I wrote it very well. I wrote it right down the middle. If the woman is wrong, I say it. If the man is wrong, I say it. Did any women get offended that you, you had a book for men only? No, because most of the women love the book. And you, the poetry book. It's a poetry book. Mm -hmm. And they bought the book for their husbands, boyfriends, daddies, all kind of stuff. They would, they, right. they would buy the book from me for them. Yeah. Now, most of your books are about relationships. Well, all of your books are basically about no. relationships. No. Uh, huh? No. No. Just one. I have three books out. This one is on relationships. I'm I have another one. These are all my workbooks, so they look a little raggy. This one I wrote second on finances uh, because uh, relationships and finances go hand in hand. Now the finances book, was that about like uh, caretaking and stuff like that? Like when No, that's the third book. The okay. third book is called The Last Night, A Caregiver's Journey Through Transition and Beyond. And they can okay. always get my books at my website, ThelmaOfGoodTimes.com. But the okay. finance book I had to write because I realized when I was doing a lot of um, book touring with the first book that a lot of relationships break up because of money. Mm -hmm. And there's a, there's a lot of different uh, issues about money. And for some reason, I don't like reading money books because it, they're too technical. Okay. And they just give me headaches. And I couldn't understand, but you know, I couldn't get it. So I decided that um, I was going to write um, a finance book, just a very entertaining and very logical 101 basic book. And I wrote this one and it's, it's really good. And I also had an expert who his name is Trent Daniels. And he definitely did help me with this book because I wanted everything to be accurate. Yeah. Yeah, I like relationship books. I like pretty much anything that have to do with relationships because relationships really uh, help us move through life. Every, every situation in life basically boils down to a relationship. And relationships, Absolutely. You know, relationships are unique and, and, and people come together for different reasons. In your right. opinion, what defines a right. healthy relationship? 
what defines a healthy relationship? Yeah. I would think a healthy relationship is someone who can communicate clearly. Right. First of all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, a person of your word, that's second. And a person who you can trust. Mm -hmm. If you have those three basic things down to me, I think that it, we, we're, we're a whole lot ahead of a lot of people. Right. Effective yeah. communication. Some people say communication. No, 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 no. Effective communication. Exactly. And very clear. Very clear. Yeah. Because yeah. people can communicate a lot of different ways and make the situation very cloudy in their behalf. But they're still communicating. But it's, you know, it's not clear.